Good morning or afternoon or very late at night to my beautiful team, Team Thrive. All right, I am excited about what I am going to teach you today. I'm going to teach you a system that is going to give you straightforward exactly what you should be posting each day. Okay, so we are all struggling with balance, right? And that just comes with everything. And it comes with posting and what to post. And like, we're all afraid, especially if you're new. Like once you're not so new, year, year and a half in, you're not so afraid of what anybody thinks. You still struggle with it sometimes, but it's that it's different. It's like what other coaches think or what, you know, somebody that's really into like health and nutrition or is already blogging, like what they think. And you have to just want, want, want. So we want to be well rounded people that are telling a well-rounded story and giving well-rounded value by still staying within our niche. So I'm going to teach you how to break that down, create a system. So not only will you know exactly what to be posting, but you'll also know what, like how to organize it and how to recycle content and deliver better content. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a list of 20. Now you can start out with 15. If you're really struggling with who you are still, what you have to offer. If you're like, just a college student, just a mom, just a wife that just left her job, like whatever it is, then you might want to just start with 15 and then add on. Because I know that I felt that way when I started. I have nothing to offer. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. I don't know who my niche is because with me at least, and you might feel this way, I felt like I'm just so like random and eclectic. and. First of all, that's part of my, who I am. It's hard for me because I know that people that are very specific, the more narrow your niche, the easier it is going to be. But I also know that my personality is very like random. And so what that means is there's more people that are not gonna understand me, but the people that do understand me, they're gonna get me and they're like, ah, I get her. She's not a hot mess. She just has her hands in a lot of things. So. Anyway, I'm gonna show you my list and then how I organize. So first, I want you to make the list. Write it down, if you write it down, take a picture of it, save it in A note or Evernote, don't lose it, or put it in A note, make up a little notes list, what, whatever. Okay, so you're gonna make a list of 20, and these are the nine things that I think kind of are, we should all have and start with as beach body coaches with our social media feed. So, public ads, things for free groups, challenge groups, invites. Shakeology lifestyle pictures, okay? So, and with all these categories, I want you to think magazine. Let's see if I can find a picture I took on the cruise. So, it's, we are gonna go from just sweaty selfie, picture here, to high quality, says something, emotes emotion and lifestyle, and not just product promotion, okay? And that will be stepping it up, way up from where the rest of the coaches, what they're doing. And not it's not a competition, but we want to stand out. Especially if you're going to be, you know, getting those people that would never think of doing network marketing or that kind of thing. Me, probably most of you, but want life change and to thrive and be passionate and grow their income. We have to show them the lifestyle element. So, okay, this is these are some pictures that I took or Sam took on the cruise. And I'm not saying they're all awesome, I was up early, but I am on a cruise in the middle of the ocean, looking decently cute, and I have my Shakeology. And can you see how that is different than, okay, here's one for working out, fitness. Can you see how this is different than me just holding the camera up with a sweaty face? Which that's okay sometimes. I think that with sweaty selfies, I'm realizing that people have a long mirror I tend to really like the ones where they're showing their body, their full body in the mirror more than just their face. Face is just a sweaty face. You can see a smile, but I would say save the close up smile ones because we want a difference when we look at all of our feed. Save those for when you feel more polished and really want to emote, you know, emotion. Sweaty selfies I think are better fuller length. So go to Walmart and get a cheap full length mirror and put it somewhere that has good light. But then like this was a group workout or if you're gonna work out outside or in a park or somewhere that has a pretty background, this would be more of like a lifestyle post. This is, I haven't posted that this was on the cruise, the bar, the Shakeology bar. That's a little bit more like lifestyle like. These were some, okay, that's not really Shakeology lifestyle. That's just some pictures Sam took. Okay, here's the more Shakeology lifestyle. 
me drinking, me on the cruise hanging out. They're not all gonna be great. Me with Lindsay. So now we have community and we have Shakeology lifestyle. All right, is it posed? Yes, Lindsay and I are laughing. We're talking though. This is thinking like magazine type. And I'm not saying you have to have magazine quality. Yeah, it's great. Up your photography skills, get in good light. That's what it comes down to. That's great, but do not not do something because you are not perfect at it. It takes 10,000 hours to become an expert at something. I spent a decade practicing photography and four years going to school for media communication. So I'm probably over that, I haven't added it up, like way over that 10,000 hours. If you have only been working on social media and your picture taking for a couple months, then don't get down on yourself, keep growing. So Shakeology lifestyle. This is the winner that I chose, but that's what you want to aim for. And okay, so I'm kind of going off. I'm gonna kind of go all the way and then come back. So next one be, be your story, okay? And I'm gonna take you in the next lesson and we're gonna break down your story. So for right now, you're just going to add that as one of your things, but and then I'm gonna teach you how to expand on it. Then it's gonna be fitness. So fitness is going to be anything from fitness tips. I think fitness videos where you're doing, people like, I'm just letting you know, people like abs, butt, and leg videos the most, okay? Abs, butts, and legs, that's what women like the most. More than they like arm videos. It doesn't mean you can't do any arms, but when you put in that ab or butt or leg or quad or you know whatever, they're going to be more drawn to watch it and that's what we want. So for engagement purposes, that's where most of your videos are gonna be from. I look awkward on video, like when I'm doing workouts, I will stumble or whatever, but it doesn't matter because I want to get to the place where I look really good at it and I keep upping my background and that kind of thing. So I have been trying after my workouts, sometimes I'll like try to put some makeup on real quick, I'll comb my hair back, put in a headband, whatever, get okay, get in some good light and I will pick four or five moves and a lot of times I'll just pick whatever I just did in 21 Day Fix Extreme and I will just do, you know, five seconds, 10 seconds of one and then try to get good form, turn to where it's a good angle, do another one and then I edit together and I say like butt blasting workout. Repeat this five, you know, reps of each or five sets of each rep, each rep one minute and then I'll put like the squat, the this, the this and just make it a little bit different and just cut it together and people like, they're like, are they gonna go home and like watch your video and write it down? No, they're not but are they going to think of you and how you're working out and you're motivating them and like watching it and think, oh, she knows what she's talking about? Yes, they are. So fitness, fitness lifestyle, you working out like out in nature, in different places, small spaces, bringing on demand to the gym, whatever it is, whatever that means to you, fitness lifestyle. And of course, you're gonna want Beachbody to work into it, but you're, it's a, you're like, it's a magazine. This is a magazine of your niche story to your readers. So you want to create images and you know value in these posts. The next is personal development. So I suggest that you listen to a buttload of personal development all the time. Audiobooks all the time. Audible, iTunes, library. Get your library card, go onto your library site, like put in, find what app to download, put in your library card into the app, and you will have access to lots of free business development books and personal development books. Take the recommendations we say, search them, and then look at the category and see what else they have. Leadership, free, okay? Audio, and then I suggest taking the audio, or if you wanna also get the hard copy, and for like 10 minutes a day, in front of the computer, listen or read a little section, keep and type notes. That's me typing. Clackety, clackety, clack. Of keynotes. I do this with the National Wake Up Call sometimes too and give you all my information from what I learned from another coach. Key little spots. And then from those things, the personal development, make quotes, write posts, have good selfies that you've taken and write a little bit about that. Make videos. I did a video today where I was like, I don't have time to do everything. So I did my makeup as I made the video. I had hair everywhere and I did my hair as I like regurgitated some personal development things that I had learned. So personal development, because the more you are filling yourself up, not only are you growing, but then you are offering a lot more to people, things they need. If you need it, then, then you are, and you're giving it back out, then you are giving it back out to people that are like you, but a little bit behind you that need it too. Next one is branded quotes. This is just an easy way to take the personal development, take things 
things that motivate, inspire you, and to, like we talked about in the earlier lessons, take your brand colors, your brand style, and your brand fonts, mix them together, add some value with the quotes, you want them to be shareable, okay? These are the most recyclable content that you can create and very shareable, all right? So I'm gonna share some of what mine are. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna write them down first, and then you're gonna just immediately go to a note app, and you're going to create folders for them. So I'm gonna show you what mine are. So I've got ads, Shakeology lifestyle, my story, nutrition and health. So for me, that would be like essential oils, kombucha, mineral deficiencies, electrolyte deficiencies, all types of health, nursing tips, you know, that kind of thing. And nursing, I mean like that I get from Sam as a nurse, not breastfeeding. Food and drink, I love sharing recipes. I love creating food, I love taking pictures, that's food and drink. And I actually, I have like a lot in food and drink, but like nutrition and health, I have two. Fitness, these are all ones, I have videos tied to these, not pictures, and so, because videos do well, so what I need, and sometimes what I'll do like country heat, workout, I need to pr start promoing that, figure out a way to do that. So I kind of wrote a note to myself. And then this is another one. I actually, I saw this with one that another coach did that I thought it was kind of like just lifestyle showing. All I need is my Wi-Fi and laptop and I'm streaming 22 minute hardcore cardio too in my hotel room. Never miss a Monday is my motto and I'm living it. So I thought that's really good. So that is kind of a reminder create a quote like that so I would revise it and then take a picture that goes with it. And then the rest of these are like ones that I did that went with a video, but I can't add a video in a note. So what I do is in my photos, I'll just make an album and I have fitness videos. So here's my fitness videos. So I try to just reference which ones they are. So there's the side plank dips that went right there. So let's go back to all the rest of them. Growth, okay, personal development. So, I don't have any in there right now just because I just made these folders and I haven't made any new personal development posts since that. So this shows me, what it shows me is what I think I'm promoting and talking about. I'm actually not because I don't have anything in there. All right, I'm not projecting what is important to me and what I think. So this is one of the reasons this grid system helps. Hashtag growth. So I want, one of the things I do is I want to kind of brand myself as I go as a growth expert. I've always grown and pushed myself. Well, that's not true. I haven't. I kind of stopped growing when I felt like it didn't pay off and I got bitter about it a couple of years ago. But that's important to me now. So I on Instagram will, I've done one, just the crow pose one. If you do hashtag Ashley goes for crow, you can, let me show you in case you don't know what I'm talking about. I have a unique hashtag for my crow pose practice. And I have never done yoga. I've been to one professional yoga class and one old lady yoga class and tags. Ashley goes, so I started chronicling. I'm like, I'm gonna teach myself crow pose and I'm gonna chronicle it. I'm gonna give it a hashtag. So now if you go to Ashley goes for crow, it's unique. It's not just crow pose, it's unique. So it's all me. So you can go and you can see my first crow pose. See how I'm wobbly and my foot keeps going down. All right. So that's day one, and then this is, you know what, I feel like I did, I guess this is day 25. So now I'm at the point where I can get up pretty quickly, and I'm actually working on transitioning into a headstand. So I can get up to a headstand, and then my next transition will be down. So I have grown humongously in 25 days. And so I can now tell my followers, I have a bunch of hashtags that go with it. I got 13 comments, okay? I have a bunch of hashtags that go with yoga, so now I'm getting people that are into yoga too, that they will follow me, even though they're way better than I am, like I'm embarrassing compared to them, but they follow me and they're supportive and I'm building a rapport and trust with them. And I'm also building value with people that need to be inspired and believe that they can do it too, which are people that I'm gonna help as coaching people. So I am going to be doing hashtag growth things. Like every 30 days, I want to add a different thing. I'm going to grow myself. So I'm thinking about like maybe cooking my way through 30 days of Indian or some type of ethnic food dish to make it really healthy or 30 days. It could be gluten free, or I could be teaching myself like 25 new Spanish vocabulary words in 20, you know, 30 days. I could be practicing singing. I mean, you get vulnerable, you do something hard. It could be painting or drawing. And I only spend four minutes a day 
doing my crow pose practice. So that would be like what I would do. I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm gonna go to a pottery studio. I'm gonna teach myself to pot and it's gonna take three hours a day. You can do that, but this shows growth and it gets people interested. So you don't have to do this, but this is one of my things, how I'm branding myself and how I'm adding interest. So the quotes would be those personally branded quotes where I'm taking stuff I found on Pinterest, inspiring things, and I'm making my own quotes. And so I have several right here. I have the quote that I made in Canva, and then I have just a little blurb that, so when I wanna, the goal is guys, and I'll keep going on about this, is that we create such high quality content in all of these grids, all of these folders, that we do not struggle with what to post because we can just recycle our content on days that we're busy or we're struggling. So our goal is basically to create the highest quality content within each of these folders and cycle through it so we're getting an even story that we want to promote but also the highest quality because our whole goal is I want it to go be good enough to go and save in this folder. So then what I can do is like, ah, I'm running behind. So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna go to Instagram. First I'm gonna see, okay, I posted it right there. So maybe I'm gonna get one that I haven't posted as recently. And what I do is I would select and copy. Here's the thing, I posted this like last week but people are not, people are actually not going to remember. So I'm going to save it, and then I'm gonna go back to my Instagram, and then there it is, and then I go next. I'm gonna paste, whoopsie, didn't paste, it didn't copy. You wanna make sure it does copy so you're not pasting like an invite to somebody. Okay, so I can, what I can do is I can say, do I want to copy this directly, or do I want to, or do I want to write something a little bit new? And so let's say I wanna write something new. So I would put something like, it's Monday, time for a fresh start. You've got this, we're in it together, okay? So then I'm going to select all, copy, okay. I'm gonna put it on Facebook too. Then I'm gonna go back to here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda make a separator, and I'm gonna paste, so now I've got two. And then I've got these hashtags. I'm gonna copy it, and then I'm gonna paste them. But then I don't have 30, so I'm gonna add a few more. So then I can take these extra new ones, so I'm just building it, and I can push send, and then I can also go here, and I can paste them here, and then I also, so it's a lot of just saving and organization to help you in the future. So I go to my hashtags, and I have one, I think, on fresh starts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all, and I'm gonna paste and just add those new ones. So then I just built my library. Okay, so back to A note. I'm gonna show you the rest of them I have. Don't copy mine. You won't be good at me. I feel like I'm not good, be I'm not good at being me. Okay, fun. Don't have anything in here. This would be getting out and living your life and having awesome. This could be funny gifts or memes. This could be this could be funny gifts or memes. This could be cute videos. This could be you doing a funny dance. This could be let me show you something that I did for like fun. Now your type of fun is going to be different than my type of fun. So I did this video and just said how I'm like an awkward dancer. All right, that's fun. That shows my personality. Not that I'm super fun, but it, like, you know what I'm saying. It's not super serious. So you have to figure out what your brand of fun is if you want that to be part of your brand. It's okay if you like aren't goofy or silly. That's okay. I think I'm like goofy, weird, awkward. Not like the, oh, she's just such a comedian. So, but that's who I am. All right, transformation. So that would be the before and afters. I've got one of my challengers. I've got one of me after having a baby. I had to search for that picture. I've got my current before picture. I've got a challenger before, so I'm working on this library. I wanna fill it up. Daily life. This would be pictures of just daily life things that, you know, like this is one I haven't even posted, but I was in the bath. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take a picture. This is what I'm doing, but I don't wanna post it right now because I just posted something about taking a bath, but it's perfect, like for when I don't have anything to post. So I just copy this exactly, put the picture in. Got one, my daughter 
doing a dress design. So sometimes I have, I take several pictures. So what I'll do is I'll post one. I posted the one at the bottom, but then like I'll post a variation and I can talk about sisters or, you know, one of my daughters or hard work or whatever. I can change up the text. Same thing with brothers. This was about them taking off their diaper all the time, but it doesn't mean I can't talk about adoption using the same picture or I can't, you know, sometimes you're going to use the exact same text and sometimes you're going to use the same text in a different picture, sometimes same picture, different text. That's daily life. Coaching, I don't have anything in here yet. I've been talking mostly about transformations and challenge groups once, since I started this, but this would be, you know, just posts that I make about coaching because I want to push myself to talk about the right things. And, you know, Bonnie Engel is really good about talking about coaching all the time. So, Look at her, Brittany talks about coaching. So look at what they're doing and what kind of things they're talking about and take cues and then get ideas and make a new note in these folders. Don't copy them, but make a new note on what inspires you and write out a post or just the note and then give that like your to-do list. Like I need to take a picture that looks like this. Like I'm working on my phone in a beautiful beach. I need a picture of this. Hey, friend, hey, stranger, can you, this is weird, but could you take a picture from me from the back working on my phone, showing the beach with my feet out. Perfect picture. It's like lifestyle coaching, okay? Community. I want to show a lot more about community. So I wrote this post about kind of losing your community once you decide to, you know, really get into health and fitness. And sometimes you transition community and it feels a little lonely. So I, you know, need a picture to go with that. And let's see, I just went to Super Saturday. So I can do one of these. These would all be good. So I pushed done. And now I've got community pictures from Super Saturday in there and I can go back and add. Other ones I have are style, which I ask about hoops or studs. That's always something people are gonna give their opinion on. I've got adoption, don't have anything in there, but it's something I know a lot about that I can help people with. Homeschool, nothing in there. Once again, I need to help more people with that. Business and efficiency, these are ones I want to build and I've only had this folder system for like a week. Photo tips, that's something I know a ton about. And so this was like a background scene of how I would take pictures of food so people can see and then it's got some real life, you can see the potty chair that's outside. Okay, so you're not gonna do yours on photo tips unless you're a photographer and you want to. And then, this one is not the right place. Selfie post food. I don't know what this means. Selfie post food. I don't know what I meant by that, but that's when I have. So that's kind of like what I have now are the main things that I feel like an expert in and qualified to talk about. So I put them into folders and now my goal is to, fit. so this is your goal. So this is your assignment. You're going to take a piece of paper or whatever, write down the 15 to 20 things, which is including these nine things, public ads, Shakeology lifestyle, my story, fitness, personal development, branded quotes, transformation, coaching a daily life. And I will make a template where you can print it out and write this down below in the files. And you're going to do that. And then you're going to make folders for each of these. Oh, let me show you how to make a folder real quick. You go to the top right where it looks like a cloud with lines or something. And you just, you can go and do add group divider. So you can say my posts and then you just add the folder like that and you type in the name and then they'll all be here and then done. So that is how you make new folders. So I hope that makes sense. I want you to trust me on this. This is going to give you so much freedom in the future and so much focus for the present. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. But you are this is gonna change your business and you are going to do an amazing job of this. So your assignment to list, give me those 20, 15 to 20 topics and then I want to see that you have made those folders and then you have already made four ads so you are going to put those ads find them and you're going to put them in your folder about ads and you're going to write go ahead and write the post for it if you haven't already posted it if you have go back and copy and paste and put it in there and save it and then you made 10 probably like 12 now branded quotes and you're going to take those and you're going to put them in the branded quotes folder all right go